What's going on guys? It's Tony K, Urban Girl Scout Media. Welcome back to another episode of Living the Dream and figure I'll take a break from raking out muck from the pocket here to, well, enjoy one of the few treats of August and that is Oktoberfest. So, oh, gotta get that later. so good. First Oktoberfest of the season. Let's have a great episode. What's going on guys? It's Tony, Urban Girl Scout Media. Welcome to another episode of Living the Dream. This week, a little more relaxed, a little more calm. Uh, got a few things that we're going to do actually. Uh, well, for starters, I got a few news stories here that we'll cut to. Um, some things that really kind of excited me. So, uh, nothing too serious on this episode. We're also going to look at, <clears throat> excuse me, we're also going to look at a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles mini pinball machine that I got and we will you know some original music background of that I'm gonna talk about smoking some meats uh, I am starting to work on something with uh, the mini arcade basketball hoop that you saw in the last episode the little behind the back that I did um, where basically we're shooting like this trying to um, you know, maybe get to world record status, I don't know. Uh, also this week, we're going to have not one, but two different crack-a-packs. Uh, both of them are very special. We're going to do a double Masters, four packs, I almost said double, double Masters, but yeah, it's basically a double, double Masters, so we're doing four packs for double Masters, and then I'm going to open the first uh, promo pack that I've ever received one of these standard uh, award promo pack whatever core 21 so we've got both those coming uh, and who knows maybe there will be an interview skit this week I just hope you guys are excited I hope you guys are ready let's get this one going and let me uh, change over and get ready for some news stories that caught my attention so this week uh, news stories that have caught my attention first off one of the best cartoons ever Ever. Let me just explain to you. One of the best cartoons ever, Animaniacs, will be making a return this November to Hulu. I believe right now we're going to get 13 new episodes. And again, November on Hulu. Could not be more excited. Absolutely love this show growing up. And I thought that this was just one of the most original cartoons considering when it came out and how long kind of the 90s Nicktoons and Cartoon Network, all these things have really been going on for a while. Um, I felt like Animaniacs carved a very unique spot, and it was one of my favorite cartoons growing up. Also gave us Pinky and the Brain, so we'll get a little bit of new Pinky and the Brain as well, if I'm not mistaken. Absolutely excited. Animaniacs coming back this November. It was announced and finally released. The good people at Vans Clothing Company are collaborating with The Simpsons yet again. And this time we are getting a whole new product line of merchandise. And I got to tell you guys, I freaking love the Moe's Tavern themed shoes. I highly encourage you guys to look at it and check it out. It's the whole product line. It's really cool. Backpacks, hats, t-shirts, um, shoes, of course. And there's um, high top and ankle socks. Really cool product line. Anytime that you can get two big time icons um, like Vans Clothing Company and The Simpsons to collaborate, that's pretty cool, right? This is no different. Definitely check it out. Finally, uh, again, just collaboration seems to be one of my favorite things because here we have the good people of Nintendo and Lego coming together for the Nintendo Lego setup and you see it on the screen here it's pretty awesome uh, love the detail love the old school feel little pricey but guys these things are so cool and Lego continues to find these new places to do these mashups or do these product lines with 
Nintendo just felt great. And now you think about all the things that we could get coming down the road. What if they break into the Donkey Kong world? Oh, God, that would be great. Oh, please do it, Nintendo. But anyways, the Lego Nintendo uh, set has released. There's a lot of cool stuff. There's even some Lego Mario levels that you can make. Very, very cool. Check it out. If you're a Lego fan or a Nintendo fan, it, I truly believe it's worth at least the product review watch. Um, like, just some of the stuff you're seeing is really cool. Great time to be a fan. Okay, so with that, let's get to this week's episode. We're going to do some Double Master stuff. I hope you guys are excited about that. Uh, going to open some product there. I'm going to talk about how to smoke three meats this week. That's right, one, two, three. I'm pretty excited. I love smoked meat. I hope you guys have been enjoying that series. Also, we'll just ramble. We'll have some fun. So let's do it. All right, guys. So on this week's episode of Smoking with Tony K, I'm going to talk about something that I haven't done yet on this, and that's distributing three different types of meat into that smoker, getting yourself ready, getting yourself prepared, and working through the process. This was not hard at all. By this point, you guys should have done at least one or two meats I've got a turkey and a ham that I'm going to make a video on here soon, but I want to talk about that idea of just controlling three different meats um, and controlling the way that you need to cook through it. So these next few steps are really going to focus on if you have multiple meats and they're not the same, as in they don't go in the exact same time. They need different um, amounts of time in the smoker, things like that. Uh, you know, you want to kind of keep it all within that same temperature, but that is what we are going to discuss today. So for this, what I did was chicken legs, uh, sauce, Italian sausages, both sweet and mild, and then a pork butt. Um, and it was really easy. I mean, this wasn't hard at all. The pork butt took the longest amount of time, so that goes in first, obviously, right? Uh, the chicken legs and the um, chicken legs and the sausages, I actually put them in about the same time. Chicken legs don't take that long. Wings and legs are not a long time. Um, cooking issue so you don't actually have to wait that long for them pretty awesome if you think about it um, the the things here that I do want to talk about is first you need to be aware that you're gonna be opening your smoker a lot more than normal because you're gonna have to get that initial meat going all the steps there and then you're gonna have the other meats if you do like I did where you could throw two of them on at the same time after the first one it's not gonna be that bad but you have to remember nonetheless so Always account for that a little bit. Try and maybe um, turn the temperature up just a bit. Because you're already going to have to turn it up a little bit higher than what you normally would for just one meat because of the amount of meat in your smoker. Um, so that's something that you really want to be aware of. Uh, I also would recommend if you are able to change the wood chips out during the smoking process. I know some people may not like that. But if you're doing a long, super long day of cooking and you're going to be in and out of your smoker a lot, uh, perhaps having some extra wood chips ready to throw right in, excuse me, uh, that might be a good idea. Last thing, and this is, this is absolutely crucial, make sure that there's some kind of synergy between what you're cooking flavor-wise. Um, don't go for like a barbecue and then something that doesn't pair well with barbecue because all that flavor is going to come together. So uh, what I did was a lot of similar seasonings. You, know, you got your salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. And then it was just really similar seasonings between the chicken and the pork. Obviously, Italian sausages came pre-seasoned. They were good to go. Um, but just kind of think about that because that is going to all soak in that flavor. It's the same thing as when you choose your wood chips. You want to choose wood chips that have a good flavor. If you're going for something sweet, you want to choose a sweet chip. If you're going for something smoky, you want to choose a smoky chip, so on and so forth. It's not that hard. But do not underestimate how hard it's going to be to get that temperature up uh, after you put meat back in and after you check on it and this, that, and the other thing. Outside of that, very easy, not complicated, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, here in the coming weeks, I'm going to talk about smoking a turkey and smoking a ham. We're a few months away from the holiday season. We don't know what's going to happen with the pandemic this year in terms of we're going to get to get together. Um, but nonetheless, if you do have to uh, take on the challenge of cooking, well, I got you covered. So thank you guys so much. Remember, you can smoke meat. It's not hard.
and that's it. I mean, there's no excuse anymore. I've shown you guys the, the basics. I've gotten you up to handling three different of those basic meats. Here over the coming weeks, we're going to talk about ham. We're going to talk about turkey. They were so simple. And the turkey was fall off the bone. Fall off the bone. So I think you guys are going to enjoy it. Thank you so much. Let's get back to the rest of this week's episode. All right, guys, so here we go. Today we're gonna open a bunch of double masters packs and just see how it goes. Yeah, I'm feeling good. Hopefully you guys are too. So double masters, double masters, double masters. I don't even know. There's some good stuff in here. Let's see how these packs come out. Cards feel pretty decent and start out. Not as, not nearly as bad as perhaps past ones, who knows? So camera work here is clearly just a little shoddy from the start, so let's just hope that we get something good pulled to justify it. We'll put the commons and uncommons separated. Throw them get first uncommon to get us going. I like it. All right, here we go. Oh, exploration, first rare. I like it. I like it a lot. Good stuff. Exploration, that was actually one of the rares that I was really interested in. I like it already. Let's see what happens here. Pack two, pack two been fun so far open there's the uh, the old Urza's opened a bunch of product stuff like that here recently for uh, the channel for some episodes and it's been fun all right so we got ourselves a land not bad and a Tresodon so kind of a kind of blah and then the foils nothing to really write home about flicker wisp and goblin cavalier I do like these full art tokens. I think that's pretty cool. I guess I should probably pull this stuff over a bit so you guys can actually see. Just kind of jump right in. I was really excited about these packs. Uh, this is an interesting set for sure. Just keep on rolling. And we'll go back and look at all the rares together here before, uh, before we're done. This is a longer crack of pack, obviously. Some interesting cards here, though, for sure. Ooh. First brainstorm. Figured I'd. I always get the brainstorms, man. When they uh, when they put them in these master sets, I feel like I pull quite a few. So figured this wouldn't be any different. So here we go. Jump right into the uh, rares there pretty quick. Salvage Titan. Interesting. Noble Hierarch. Oof. Some sauce. Some sauce. I'm not too upset so far. Last pack, not upset, not upset. Just go right to them, right to them. Fatal push, not bad, not bad. Ash Baron, okay, another another one of these filter lands. Transmuter, eh, and all right. So let's go back and look. Cause I actually, I'm actually not too, not too disappointed. Got us a couple of lands, Noble Hierarch, Master Transmuter, I think I said Transmuter Artifact, sorry about that, and then the Exploration. So overall, uh, not too bad, I mean that's, you know, it's decent, so alright, not bad at all, hope you guys enjoyed that, thanks.
what was your take on the bathroom situation today? It was um, it was a good it was a good situation. The uh, the facilities were nice and clean. Um, I felt like the stagnant smell of other people's previous trips wasn't there. So, I mean, that was really nice, um, and even the toilet itself, you know, was nice and cool, like someone hadn't been there in quite a while. So, it was really, I mean, it was a really great experience. Um, the movement itself was, was pretty solid. I felt like when I needed to give the right push to avoid any um, backsplash from, from the opposition, I was able to do that pretty well. Um, you know, the only thing that, that really kind of got us in trouble, I think, was the the single ply that we were provided um i think that was just you know something that our opposition planned on doing um was just saying hey you know we're gonna give these guys just you know a single ply and, and see if if that can maybe um hurt them in, in some way and, and you know make it a, a two or three swipe process to get up the middle and get that clean so you know like i said um we we're fortunate to get through that pretty cleanly uh, nice hot water afterwards to, to clean up always makes makes a difference at the hand washing station so you know no complaints um, hopefully next time we're here we can you know have another productive movement where we're you know we're able to just come out and, and do solid work again absolutely Well, today is going to be an interesting one. I've never opened a promo pack before. I was given one by a nice lady at a card store who I spent some cash on some stuff for, so she said she would hook it up. I don't really know what to expect. I don't even know if there's more than one card in here. Mm, looks like there is. Hope everyone's having a great day. Let's see what we got. Looks like we got you old animal sanctuary. Selfless Savior. Uh, okay. And that was kind of weird. Kind of weird. Like, I don't know. I got this, this Teamer Ascendacy. Ascendacy, excuse me. And it's got like this little, I don't know if you guys can see it here. Uh, you see the little right there. Interesting. I mean, for free, I'm not upset. That's a pretty cool land. No, yeah, okay. Not bad. Thanks. Yo, guys, that's this week's episode. Thank you so much for watching. A couple things I wanted to end this with. First off is, uh, if you guys start paying attention, whenever I open any product for Magic the Gathering that has Magic Arena codes in it, um, I don't claim those. Those are open season. So if you see them, take them. Uh, once you do, just let somebody know so that they're not all out there searching. But just something to think about. I put a post up on Facebook about that. There is at least five or six of these codes just floating around. And if you think about it, it's just the Planeswalker packs. Um, I think the Planeswalker packs are the only ones I've really pulled it from. So it won't be too hard to find them. Just something to think about. Uh, Got some skits coming up here in the following weeks that I'm excited to share. Don't forget that I do a weekly article on Tumblr, and I try to put it over on Facebook. It's on Magic the Gathering stuff. I call it the Mamba Market Watch. Uh, it's really just what I what I see in the Magic market. It's not always going to be prices and uh, predictions on what's going on. Sometimes it's just going to be observations. 
but it seems to uh, be landing pretty well. So also remember I've got off the rails where if you're looking to just kind of hear me spout off about some stuff and go a little bit harder than what I do in these uh, living the dreams, you can catch that. Here over the coming week, uh, we're going to have some ramblings about alcoholism. Uh, we're going to talk about Garrett Foster. So I, I do have some thoughts on that that I, I'll share. Um, and then talk about the masks a little bit and things like that. So we try to keep that serious stuff to off the rails where it's a little bit safer. But I hope you guys enjoyed the episode this week. Thank you so much. This is Tony K with Urban Girl Scout Media. And we will see you next time on Living the Dream.